Hey, we rolling right along with this freestyle week, fam. And as a new fan of MGK, I couldn't wait to get to MGK freestyle. Roll it. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Channel's name is The Third Ernest. I'm Ernest Sadiano The Third, y'all guys third family. If you're new here and you're not subscribed and you like what you see at the end of the video, consider clicking the subscribe button bottom right hand corner. Now we are like knee deep into this freestyle week and I'm all about it so far. I have not been let down. I, and I honestly, I don't, I don't expect to be let down on any of these freestyles because everybody know that they gotta come hot with it whenever you're freestyling over a radio show live in front of like millions of listeners. Because of that, I know everybody's gonna come with it, but just how hard do they come with it who knows and I, I've, I've never heard MGK freestyle ever and like I always like to preface there's two types of freestyles There's one that's completely off of the top of the dome which like 95% of rappers don't do and then there's written freestyles which basically means that it's free of style there's no there's no any there's no any kind of direct there's no direct subject or there's nothing that we're like going toward it's just it's just random hot bars for the sake of hot bars and because I know that going in I don't really care what type of freestyle it is as long as it's fire but there's really nothing else to say because I want to get right on into this. This freestyle was actually, or I know that he has multiple on Funk Flex, so I just picked this one. But I know that every this is like one of the highly requested freestyles. So follow your boy on Instagram and on Twitter at the third earner, just like the channel. Links are down in the description below. And we got Machine Gun Kelly on Funk Flex, freestyle number 107. Y'all hear the ice cream man? Your boy lives in the hood. The last time he was here, bruh, killed him. It's part two. The LA leakers killed him. That was a mean. Real mean. I'm thinking, <laughs> Real mean. I guess I got to go and listen to that one too as part of this week because if Funk Flex is like, yo, you did the damn thing on another radio station. Thank you for the Dom. I know it's Ciroc Studios, but I appreciate you dropping yeah. off a little Dom for the kid. Yeah. All right. All right. What we doing? Let's get to it. Ooh. Yeah. Not this beat. Not this beat. I just hit a switch. Flip, flip. Get checked, the jack gotta come off. <laughs> Look, where were you when I was down? I got questions. Now I saw these hoes in the lounge at the West. I just met somebody's parents, left a bad impression. They smelled the package that I just picked up from the reception. Hey, fuck, <laughs> I'm stressing. I don't learn my lesson. Customs locked me down in LAX for coke possession. Just had a publicist that left, said I was too aggressive. That had an ex that couldn't stand me because I'm not possessive. Impressive. Huh. Too aggressive, had an ex that couldn't stand me because I wasn't because I was too possessive. Or was what he saying? Wasn't possessive enough? Aggressive. That had an ex that couldn't stand me because I'm not possessive. Because I'm not possessive. Like she wants him to be like, hey, hey, I want you to show me off. And he's like, fuck you, bitch. What makes you think I'm about to show your ass off? Who are you? You can do that when you got it like that. You know what I'm saying? And he said, where was you at when I was down? I got questions. Like what makes you think you can just stroll up in here when I'm on this A-list type shit now? Bitch, you wasn't with me shooting in the gym? Where was you when I was down? I was nothing but bitches and hoes in the lounge at the Wesson. Back then, they didn't want me. Now I'm hot hoes all on me type shit and i left a bad impression with the with somebody's parents that i just met because they smelled the weed they smelled the fucking ganja that i picked up from reception impressive uh, <laughs> i just want to say i ditched the vmas and went back up the way hey from the ghetto to a rock god hit him up like pop Ooh. let's just keep it hit him up like pop Damn, that's one of the hardest disses of all time. First off, fuck your bitch in the click you click. From the ghetto to a rock god, hit him up like pop. Let's just keep it G. Only easy I fuck with is E. Ooh. I seen he died. Damn, because I know that him and G-Eazy had a little bit of beef. I don't, know, I don't know if it's still ongoing from 2018, but he said the only easy that I fuck with is E, dog. He said, let's keep it a G, let's keep it a hundred. Let's be real about this shit. I don't, the only easy that I fuck with is not g Easy. Fuck that dude, I only fuck with Easy e That's a bar. This is kind of like a hard a hard uh, beat to freestyle to because you, you can only really have one type of rhythm on this type of beat. I mean, you could try to go off rhythm, but it's not that, it's not that sound. It, does, it doesn't have that sound where you can just fucking spit spit, you know? Only easy I fuck with is E. Damn. I seen he dyed his hair and got a hanging near him. I fucked his girl, now he looked like me. This shit overbearing. How dare him? I dare him. <sighs> Duh. Now that right there is a fucking, that's a shit talking diss right there. Those are the type of lyrics that would fucking, that would fucking cause hardcore beefs. Hardcore, like back in like Ja Rule Eminem days, those are the type of direct shots that you don't really hear anymore in rap. Normally if someone's beefing, they're gonna be doing it on the, on the low. 
No one's really calling anybody out. And then people be too sweet with this shit. They just be like getting over it, like Drake and fucking Meek Mill. I mean, they did it for the culture and shit, but you know, that's, that's not how it works. That's not how a dish should work. But Funk Flex's fucking reaction when he said, I fucked this girl. He dyed his hair and got a hanging near him. I fucked his girl, now he looked like me. This shit overbearing. How dare him? I dare him. Don't think about comparing. Man, turn Ooh. that frat rap off. I'm getting sick of hearing. I'm in LA at my spot, right next door to Terrence. I'm knocking ah. on the door next time I see Kanye's McLaren. Like I need beats, <laughs> ayy. I'm knocking on the door next time I see Kanye's McLaren because that's how that's how good I got it. Who else is writing that right there? But that wordplay when he said, how fucking dare him? How dare g Easy think that he's on my level? How dare that motherfucker? I dare him. I dare him to try to step to the to the mic one time and try to piss me off. People have asked me on the channel before, do I like g Easy? And not really because he's just... It's just, he's just very lackluster, I guess you could say. It's very, the bars are, they're not even really bars. He's just, he's, he's as popular as he is because he writes, he writes raps for bitches and he's, and he's a good looking dude. That's really the only reason he has any notoriety because his bars are just, they're not impressive, you know? And I'm not talking shit to talk, I mean, I guess I am talking shit, but I'm not talking shit without reason. This is how I've always felt about him. After his first album, which I fucked with heavy, fall off every album after that he's just too mainstream for me but from an objective standpoint g easy doesn't hold a candle to fucking mgk in terms of his lyrical talent he said turn that frat rap off and i mean that's really that's really what g easy is see kanye's mclaren like i need beats hey like hook me up with kendall man all the masses out in calabasas got me mental bitch i'm a dog yeah i came up out the kennel when that teardrop on my partner right because he's sentimental look I told you, I told For that teardrop, because I'm sentimental, but also like the teardrop is like a, they're very gang related. And if you know anything about teardrops in, in terms of gang, uh, in ter gang gang tattoos, it normally symbolizes people that you've killed. Like the more, like each teardrop is a body that's fallen to your gun. I told you, I told you that I'm coming. Yeah, they should have left me doing pop. Y'all don't want me gunning. My Ooh. daughter's with me. Ain't no school yet. It's the end of summer. So close your ears. Your daddy's about to kill these motherfuckers. Lyrically, I'm my daughter's with me again until the end of summer because there's no school. So close your ears because you, you shouldn't be hearing this, baby girl, because I'm about to murder these motherfuckers on this mic. And he said, y'all should have left me doing pop. Y'all don't want me gunning, dog. My in his name, Machine Gun Kelly. Close your ears, your daddy's about to kill these motherfuckers. Lyrically, I'm six feet, I'm 23 MJ on the beat, I'm stronger, Ooh. faster by design. I'm a Lambo, you a Nissan. I'm a ah. big bad wolf, no peace sign. Finna give these fans they tea time. I would tell they mans he'd be fine, but then I'd be lying. I'm mobbing. Duh, that wordplay, that spit change up. He, that's that's a nice that's a nice flow on top of this beat right here for sure. He said lyrically, I'm six feet, 23 on the beat, like MJ dog. Like Michael Jordan, he's the goat on the fucking mic. He said, I'm stronger and faster by design. Like God built me to be stronger and faster than any of these other rappers out here. He put me up here at this top tier for a reason. I'm a Lambo, you a Nissan? I'm a Lambo, you a Nissan. I'm the big bad wolf, no peace sign. Finna give these fans they tea time. I would tell they mans he'd be fine, but then I'd be lying. <laughs> I'm mobbing in that all black range with a long list of names. Duct tape, y'all ain't safe, ugh. Clinically, I'm insane. Industry is full of lames. Gone when the cops came on. Uh, paper planes on. Uh, sugar cane on. Uh, to the brain. Bottle drain. I'm the pain on. Uh, I'm just saying on. Uh, I'm ashamed on. Uh, I paved this lane and they don't even say my name. Yeah, I'm white. Yeah, I'm rock and roll. Yeah. I paved this lane and they don't even say my name. Like y'all don't even want to admit that this lane that of this lane that I created. And to be honest, he really he really is in his own lane. A lot of people, especially at this time, they were gonna they're gonna compare him to every white rapper gets compared to Eminem. There's just there's no there's no getting around it. But he's like, how are you not even gonna acknowledge that I made this lane? That I did the rock shit? That I did the aggressive rapping? That I that I had bars like this? Even say my name? Yeah, I'm white. Yeah, I'm rock and roll. Yeah, I got soul. Yeah, my daughter's black. Yeah, I love the rap. Yeah, I'm fighting back. Yeah, I hate the fame. Wish I had a mask. Yeah, I got pulled over with my stylist. Had no license and a strap. Please, the fifth. that ain't sad. <laughs> yeah, I got pulled over with my stylist. I had no license, but I had the strap, dog. Technically, I don't know about in, Ho in Ohio, but in Texas, you don't need a handgun license to buy a handgun. That's that Second Amendment type vibe, dog. You just gotta pass a federal FBI background check and you can protect yourself by any means necessary. 
but he's doing that like I don't I don't like comparing him to Eminem anymore because I know that he's in his own lane now. But this is like too it's too it's too obvious to to not acknowledge the fact that he's kind of doing the same thing that Eminem did in the last freestyle in the last battle on Eight Mile where he used all of the ammo that would normally be used against him. He took it and used it as offense and like yeah I'm white yeah I'm white yeah my daughter's black yeah I, yeah I got fame but I wish I didn't I wish I had a mask like Kanye on the Yeezus tour is dumb. Nope, I'm fucking with even fu uh, Funk Flex is like, ooh, ooh, this is bars. Yeah, I got pulled over with my stylist, had no license and a strap. Plead the fifth, that ain't sex, ayy. <laughs> Speak some facts, ayy. All you dummies love money, do some math. Seven digits in my 20s, yeah. A misfit, fuck the critics, every one of ya. I used to burn a fader magazine in public, yeah. Just cause one journalist, a hater, and a sucker, yeah. High <gasps> school reunion on my calendar, you know I'm ready. I'm leaving tour just to show up, you know I'm fucking petty. I ain't forget <laughs> none of you pussies and the rest of y'all been playing too long. Let's take it back to Vegas on my 22nd at the Palms, got a call. My life was being threatened by a pimp. He ain't know I'm in the room with 20 goons and Jay Prince. Now I'm Y'all the main. God damn, dog. He's just spitting that real life. Spitting that shit that you don't even see. He doesn't ever bring this to light. You don't want my life. You just want to know the highlights. You know, type shit. But I didn't even pause it right there because the boy was just fucking going ham. There was, there's no bars to like, oh, he said this, which means this. There's no like wordplay. He's just speaking his fucking truth on this hard ass delivery and beat. He said, I used to burn a fader magazine because me and the me and the journalists writing articles have beef. He said, I, I'm, I'm going to go to my high school party. I'm going to ditch tour. I'm going to ditch the money just to show up and, and fucking show out for these motherfuckers because I'm petty like that. I'm going to show up in the in the fucking Lambo. They, they know who I am. There's no way that they haven't heard my name. And he said on that 22nd birthday i got a call while i was at the palms and from a pimp that said he's gonna kill me little did he know i was with some fucking goons all strapped up ready for war being threatened by a pimp he ain't know i'm in the room with 20 goons and jay prince now i'm pissed Y'all done made me talk my shit I was chillin' now I'm back to being a villain in this bitch 2012 came to flex now This is part two Fuck with me in part three Might be about you Kells You see Disrespectful I gotta listen back to all that Cause there's so many things was said and happened. <laughs> I gotta listen to just disrespecting motherfuckers the whole time on the mic. He just dropped He dropped the headphones like I dropped the headphones But he's dropping them cause he's the one spitting the shit Yeah fire dog like you know it's not it, it was it's a good freestyle i'll give you that i mean let, when in terms of ranking it amongst the freestyles that i've heard so far it would probably be obviously below black thought that's there's no there's no question about that below boogie as well because boogie's like dude is philosophical with his bars but i fuck with it i gotta listen to the other funk flex freestyles as well because if this one went hard i want to see how the other ones go but yo, that brings us to the end of this video, ladies and gentlemen. If you like what you see, please consider liking the video, leaving a comment down below. Helps the algorithm send it out there to other people who want to see all these different freestyles that we're breaking down, you know? You're helping the community, you're helping the channel fall for the price of free 99. If you yourself like what you see enough, please consider subscribing. These long form analytical breakdowns is how we do this around here. If you yourself want to potentially be invested into the future of the channel and what we do and how many videos we put out and the quality and all the different potential that we have to grow, consider clicking the patreon link first link in the description that is really the only way that i'm putting out these videos at a consistent basis at the consistent quality that i always have because y'all guys on patreon allow me to go full time so if you want to be vibing with patreon check it out first link in the description follow your boy on instagram and on twitter at the third earnest just like the channel links are down in the description below mgk himself watch my reaction to his video on twitter and everything got all these fucking retweets dope but either way that's really all that i got for you today ladies and gentlemen i appreciate your time and like i always say at the end of all of my videos go out there in the world love and care for one another love and care for each other and i'll catch everybody on the next video peace